hey guys welcome back to my channel so i'm just filming a video where i show you guys lots of different meals that i eat throughout the week um some of them will be meals that i've had before and i'll talk you through what i'm doing at each stage so i'm just chopping up some carrot here and i'll be chopping up some onion as well also if you watched my recent grocery haul video i did a quick rundown of a, some type of meal plan and i think i didn't include the beef stir fry video in that particular clip but i will include that in this video at some point where i basically make a dish with beef strips teriyaki sauce cabbage and some other veggies as well but i'll show you guys that in the next clip first of all in this clip here i'm actually making a spaghetti bolognese and i will be trying a new sauce so I think it was Tracy, she watches my videos quite often as well, and she said that this Muddy Posada is her favourite, and my uncle also said it's quite good, so I purchased one to try, and it is absolutely delicious. Here I'm just sautéing my veggies with water because I don't add oil, because the fat will come out of the beef when I sauté it. But this is the finished product, and I really like that Muddy Posada sauce, so I'll get that again next time. So guys, in this clip here, I've just got some leftover cabbage, some leftover broccoli, some onion, teriyaki sauce, and beef strips. And what I'm going to do is just stir fry it all together and then serve that on some rice. So that's the finished product there for you guys to have a quick look at. Hey guys, so on this particular day, I had a bit of a sore tummy, so I wanted to make something a little bit lighter and cleaner in terms of a meal. So I'm going to be making some congee. So as you can see here, I'm dicing up a relatively large onion and then I'm going to add in some carrot and some fresh ginger. The fresh ginger is um, the leftover piece I got in one of my fresh food hauls, the one where I go through all of the veggies that I make for juicing. So that's what I'm going to be using. And then I also add in some of the fur-based Asian soup stock cubes and then I also add in so guys, I don't remember when I made this, but I found this clip in my video folder, so I'm going to include it in this video for you. I'm just prepping some veggies here, so I'm pulling off the stringy bits of the celery, and then I am thoroughly washing the celery because the stalks of the celery have quite a bit of grit in it. So I try to wash off as much as I can, and then the brown bits that I can't wash off, I tend to scrape off with a knife. Once that's all nice and prepped, I dice them up into some small pieces. Because I am making some of this for my dog as well, because he eats human food every now and then, I've got to be conscious of what I put in here. So therefore, I'm not putting onion in this soup in this particular occasion because onion is toxic to dogs. So we're just sticking with some really simple things like celery, carrot, and I will add in some chicken stock as well. Chicken breast is often the preferred protein I give my dog because it's high in protein and it's quite lean as well. And I like to have these individually portioned in the freezer. So as you can see here, that's just what I am sticking with. Also, I wanted to note, I actually didn't put in the chicken stock cube until after I pulled out the portion for my dog. So my dog is literally having just chicken breast with some carrot and celery. I try not to season his food with anything. So after I've taken out his portion of chicken and veggies, I then add in my chicken stock. I could have added in an onion as well after I've taken my dog's food out, but I got a little bit lazy. So as you can see here, I'm just portioning up some chicken for me and some chicken for him. The chicken I buy is human grade food. So I've also added in some pasta for myself. So I made a bit of a chicken veggie pasta soup and then I had leftovers but I noticed all of the water either was absorbed by the pasta or maybe <laughs> I took too much of the soup out in my original bowl but I didn't want to waste this so I thought I would just pull out some of the pasta sauce I always have on hand in the pantry or fridge so I used the Dolmio spicy pepper sauce to add that in to turn into another meal because I really don't like food wastage and then as you guys can see, you can just have it as is with your pasta sauce or you can add some cheese on top as well. 
I had a little portion without cheese and I had another portion with cheese on top. And trust me, guys, the melted cheese on top is game changer. This was actually really, really delicious. So I got all of this for free and I'm going to let you know how. I'm going to eventually get around to filming a full length video of going through free things that people can get. But I wanted to provide my loyal viewers that watch my videos till the end with a head start. So if you become a David Jones member, which is for free and you can do it online, you get a $10 voucher as a welcome gift and there's no minimum spend. You can buy whatever you like. My partner and I got a voucher each and we spent it on the chocolates. You also get another $10 voucher on your birthday when you sign up with David Jones and become a member. With Krispy Kreme, if you sign up, you also get a free donut. And on your birthday, you do get a pack of four original glazed donuts for free on your birthday but just bear in mind you need to sign up with Krispy Kreme four weeks before your actual birthday to be eligible for that. Don't mention in the comments about the freebies because I want to keep this tip for my loyal viewers only. I will get around to doing a full video for everyone else when I have time.